Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays. Today I'm going to show you some, I guess you could say leftovers from Halloween. These are uh, movies I picked up during the month of October. Um, I think one, one or two I got uh, in November because shipping and everything. But these were some movies, uh, listening to podcasts and um, listening to other YouTubers and stuff. Uh, talk about Halloween themed movies, you know, horror type movies, sci-fi stuff like that um kind of kind of got me in the mood to discover some new movies uh especially from hammer which i'm pretty uh void of hammer films um i only have a very few uh but um i've got a few new ones here to uh, add to my small collection but there's a ton of hammer movies um out there um this is a movie from hammer uh, this came out in 1971, and this is on the Synapse Film video release. This is Countess Dracula. Um, this is kind of a uh, spin on the vampire tale. Um, it's got a, it's got two different covers. Um, that cover's got, you know, the more s suggestive artwork. And it's got that artwork. Uh, it's very similar to um, Scream Factory, a Scream Factory release, um, except for that. It's got a pretty cool booklet. It's got a nice little booklet. Um, it also shows, you know, some other movies and stuff that they have for sale. But yeah, this uh, came out in 71. Um, there, there was kind of a series um, in the early 70s where they did a... Um, they did kind of like three or four movies, and they were kind of, kind of related, but not related. Um, kind of dealing with female vampires, and it was like Countess Dracula, Twins of Evil. Um, gosh, what's another one? Uh, the Vampire Lovers um, and stuff like that. So, this is really good. It's got some cool special uh, features on here, uh, commentaries. Uh, it stars Ingrid Pitt. She was kind of a uh, English actress who uh, was in a lot of stuff. I'm not sure if she was in some James Bond movies. I'm not really sure. But uh, that leads me up to my next film, um, The Vampire Lovers. And uh, this is uh, kind of in the same vein. I was talking similar. Uh, this one stars Ingrid Pitt again with uh, Kate O'Mara, Peter Cushing, uh, and also has uh, Don Adams in it. Um, this was directed by Roy Ward Baker, which uh, he is no slouch when it comes to directing. Um, I want to say uh, in this other movie, okay, Ingrid Pitt was in Where Eagles Dare and The Wicker Man, the original uh, Wicker Man. Um, has Nigel Green in Countess Dracula. I was I was making sure that uh, Peter Cushing wasn't in it, but Peter Cushing is in this, and he he basically plays a uh, what do you call it? maybe a kind of a kind of the vampire hunter guy. He's kind of a doctor, and he kind of gets uh, kind of discovers what's going on. There's a uh, vampire uh, kind of sets herself up in a home and kind of puts a young girl under her spell and she basically takes over the household and everybody's kind of under their spell the father is away on work and there's all these goings on at this castle and everything so um it, it leads another person to discover something's not right and eventually peter cushing gets involved and there's a race to the end and everything it's it's really good it's really exciting it's different to see you know a female vampire you know dracula character so um yeah it's you know it's kind of suggestive it it looks like it would be kind of a naughty film but it's really not it's it's kind of erotic tinged but it's really not there's really no graphic nudity or anything in it there's i don't think there's any nudity actually um, 
so yeah, both of these, um, Countess Dracula is actually a new, I, I just got this, this is brand new, so I haven't seen Countess Dracula yet, I, I've heard about it, so I, I don't know, uh, where it stands in the naughty department, but r really it's just kind of erotic tinged Dracula, you know, beautiful women who are Drac or vampires, you know, it's kind of, you know, pretty cool. And next up, I got a movie that this is one of the most famous Hammer movies. This is one of the big Hammer movies, or a little Hammer movie that put Hammer on the map back in the day. It is the uh, Qu Quatermass Experiment, also known as the uh, Creeping Unknown in British, and Britain, Britain, British. Uh, it's directed by the great Val Guest, and uh, it stars Brian Donlevy, Jack Warner, um... Uh, Jack Warner, I'm trying to think who else. Uh, yeah, Brian Donnelly, you might know from, you know, Hollywood. He was in a, a ton of Paramount movies from the 30s and 40s. Uh, this came out in 1955, and um, it's for United Artists. Uh, it was a big hit um, here and there. It was, uh, I think it was known as The Creeping Unknown in Britain. And uh, th this uh, Blu-ray is really cool. It's got a lot of stuff on here. It's got trailers from Hell with Ernest Dickinson, the uh, Diggerson, I'm sorry, uh, the cinematographer. It's got audio commentaries. It's got uh, two featurettes. It's got a uh, on-camera interview and an on-camera interview with John Carpenter and the other one with Val Guest. So it's it's loaded for a Kino, Kino release. They usually, they usually put maybe a trailer, a commentary, and maybe one little interview or something maybe but this one's pretty packed with extras so um but yeah there's this one and then there's the um Quatermass experiment 2 um i need to add that to my collection i haven't got that yet but yeah recommend it it's a great science fiction movie it has great um has has great uh flavor uh what do you call it um it's great. It's great for Halloween, let's put it that way. Um, so, yeah. So, next up, I got a great movie. Now, I've heard about this movie for years. The name rings a bell if I read it or hear it and something. And I'm like, oh, yeah. But um, I finally put the, oh, yeah, with uh, looking it up and getting it. And I'm talking about Captain Kronos, Vampire Hunter. Uh, this was a movie that I had heard a lot of people like in interviews and like documentaries and stuff about horror movies and stuff like that um, about him, Cal Captain Kronos Vampire Hunter. Now this was going to be like a series and stuff and it didn't happen for some reason. Part 2 didn't happen, but they were going to do like a series of these where he gets into these adventures and stuff like that. Um, it, um, it's another Hammer release uh, with Paramount Pictures releasing it. Um, uh, directed by Brian Clement, Clemens. And um, it stars Horse Jans Jansen, John Carson, Shane Bryant, Carolyn Moron uh, Morono, Monroe, sorry. Also starring Joan Cater and Lois Dane. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a strong British cast. Um, I think Horace Jansen is a German actor. Uh, I think he's pretty big in his country. Um, he makes a great, uh, Captain Kronos. Um, you know, he's a man of mystery. He's been through a lot. You know, he's been battle. He's a soldier, essentially an ex-soldier. And, uh, his, his one mission with his uh fr his uh, assistant is this uh hunchback um, i'm not sure if the hunchback is a doctor but uh he's he's kind of comic he's kind of got some comic stuff he's got some wisecracks and different little things it gives him his character um a depth to him a little bit um but uh yeah the captain Cronus is great it's a great little movie um 91 uh, 91 minutes came out in 1974 um this is the Paramount DVD that came out in um, 2003. So it, it's base. It basically has nothing on it but one commentary by uh, genre 
historian Jonathan Sothcott and writer, director, producer Brian Clemens and actress Carolyn Monroe. Uh, so they do a uh, commentary on there, which is pretty cool. I haven't listened to that yet. But yeah, this is a good movie. Uh, I had it in my collection for a while, and um, it, it was kind of back there in the shelf. You know, I need to maybe put it with my horror movies. It kind of got mixed in, and it, it always gets kind of forgotten about uh, forgotten about at this time of year. So Captain Kronos, Vampire Hunter, great movie. Um, it's available on a pretty nice Blu-ray edition, but um, it, it's it's uh, it's kind of costly, I think. There's an import version and stuff. Okay, so that that's that does it for the Hammer features. Now these are some interesting things I've picked up. Now I haven't seen any of these. Now these were the pickups I were I was talking about from Walmart. Now I went in Walmart two different times for stuff, as you do when you shop. And I'm always drawn to the electronics department and see if they got anything at all new, which they usually don't. But um, as far as Rob Zombie goes, Rob Zombie, uh, he's directed a bunch of movies, a bunch of horror movies. He's remade Halloween. He's, he's got his own movies he's, he's put out and, you know, wrote and directed and everything. But I haven't seen any of them. And they're 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 great as a horror movie throwback to the seventies, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, kind of kind of a throwback drive-in type movie. Definitely like a cult tinged movie, um, but I haven't seen them, so I'm not really sure um, exactly how good they are. Um, so I, I picked them up, and they they were really they didn't cost much of it at all. They were like five bucks a piece. So it was like, okay, I'll take a chance. The first one I got was the remake of Halloween, directed by Rob Zombie. Um, this one stars uh, Malcolm McDowell, I mean, great actor. Sherry Moon Zombie, his wife. Uh, Tyler Maine, uh, Scout Taylor Compton. It's got bad uh, Brad Dorif, bad. It's got Brad Dorff in it, uh, Danielle Harris, and William Forsythe. So, hey, pretty good cast. And um, But yeah, you know, I love the original Halloween, and Halloween 2 especially. Um, so when I heard they were going to remake Halloween, he was going to remake Halloween, I was just like, oh man, he's going to make it just a huge bloodbath of a movie. And I, I hear it is. I haven't seen it yet. Um, I know they kind of remade it of sorts with Jamie Lee Curtis again uh, last year. You know, it was kind of a new beginning, but an old, you know, it's kind of new and old with the continuing story and everything, but he remade this and I'm not really sure about it, but I'm gonna give it a spin one night and watch it. Now this other thing I picked up from Rob Zombie, this is a, uh, a three movie trilogy pack on Blu-ray. And it's got his um, house, uh, his movies he made, like the house, um, was it the House of a Thousand Corpses? Let me put it over here. Uh, Devil Rejects. Uh, and Three from Hell. And uh, these are, it's pretty, it's pretty cool um, cover there. And it's got them all in Blu-ray. Um, so it stars, you know, your typical guys in there. It's got a... Um, Gosh, it doesn't really tell you a lot on here. Well, Sig Haig, uh, you know, he's he's been in a lot of his movies. And his wife, Sherry Moon Zombie, has been in a lot of them. There's some commentary with them. Uh, Three from Hell has a four-part documentary. Uh, House of a Thousand Corpses has director commentary, uh, making a featurette. And the same on The Devil Rejects. But I, I haven't really seen it. I think I may have tried started watching one off Netflix or Amazon Prime one night. And maybe I just didn't get into it. Maybe it was just too late and fell asleep. That happens a lot. I'll, I'll be like half asleep, start a new movie and be gone. And not re even remember anything. Um, so... I'm going to dive into these and watch these. These were, I think, uh, House of a Thousand Corpses was his first one. I believe was his first movie he directed. Uh, and, and, of course, The Devil's Rejects. Um, and these are all the unrated editions, too. So I'm going to dive into this at, at some point and watch them. I know he has a big following. Um, 
in in his film career and he's got a huge following in his music career but um he's definitely a fan of horror movies he's definitely a fan of uh the genre movies from the 70s you know all the cool movies they made in the 70s you know all the different genre type movies they made um so it's it's really cool that he's doing that but you know you wonder how good and how well does it look now i mean does it look like he's just copying something that was made you know to get the look and the feel and just kind of copying it or do you think there's an originalness to it all that that's something you know you can kind of answer that in the comments if that makes sense um so yeah i'm gonna give him a spin and try him out um so it's kind of like a blind buy five dollars no big deal so check those out so those are some leftovers from halloween um I, I think i got those rob zombie ones like first week of november actually uh so yeah just kind of leftover stuff um so yeah i hope you like these um if you like this episode give me a thumbs up um and if you have anything to say comment and uh please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed uh you can share do whatever um, you know, get the word out, um, subscribe, watch my other episodes I have, I have a whole bunch of episodes, um, I think over a hundred episodes now of DAG Films, uh, Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays collection, I've been doing this for about eight months, so I've kind of, I've kind of grown into something, so, um, so that's about it, guys, I hope you liked the episode, and, um, until next time, I am Mike, watch good movies, and stay safe out there, until next time. Thank you.